Hey, what's going on family? So in the business credit group that I manage, I've seen a lot of questions about NAV, what it is, what can I do with it, and why do I need it to grow my business and my business credit? So we're just gonna talk about NAV real quick. So stay tuned and let's talk business. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony and I teach business owners how to grow their business using social media technology and business credit. Today we are talking about NAV. If you don't know what NAV is, think of Credit Karma for business credit. This is the tool that you use to see what your business credit scores are. And they also have other tools to help you grow your business. So I'm gonna take you into what the software looks like, what it does, and what are some options that you have to grow your business. So there are other ways that you can see your business credit score, but NAV tends to be the more uh, bang for your buck, if you will. So there's a lot of more expensive options out there. I think that uh, you can look directly on Experian business, but that is a little pricey. So NAV kind of gives you a more budget friendly option for checking your business score. So let's take a look at what you get with NAV. Okay, so here we are taking a look at NAV. This is NAV.com business financing is complicated, but we make it simple. That is their slogan. Just go here, they say, they talk about saving time, getting matched and getting improved. So not only are they uh, helping you check out your scores, but they also offer some financing options as well. So they're checking your scores and things like that. And they're able to show you what things you may get approved for. I know I've seen in the application, I've seen Divi and Biddy and some other places where you can get financing from, but you can use that option if you want to, but if you're just mainly just checking to see what your scores are and uh, things like that, or if you wanna check your personal credit, which is also included as well, then you can do so. So they'll, pers they'll do some personalized matches for you to get you approved and that's one way you can find lending or financing for your business. So let's take a look at some of the, the options that they have available. So as you can see here, there are four plans that you can go to. So they have a free plan and they also have three other paid options. So let's go into some of the options that they have. So you can take a look at your full business credit reports. That's your Dun & Bradstreet num uh, score, your business experience score, and your Equifax score. All of these are your top main business bureaus and you can view each of these with NAV. Now, um, I wanna point out there on the free account, you will receive a, a letter grade score. You won't see exactly what your scores are. You'll see a letter grade. So A and B being good scores and then F, D and all the other numbered letters being negative. OK, so you can, cannot see exactly what your business scores are on the free account. Uh, you also are not able to see exactly what your uh, exact scores are with the personal uh, scores as well. So they are able, you are able to see your Experian and your TransUnion personal scores in the software as well. So 24 seven access to the credit business and personal credit alerts. Uh, you also get your financing, which we mentioned the financing marketplace. Um, you can also connect your bank and look at cash flow alerts if you want to. I personally wouldn't connect my bank to this, but it's, uh, it's there if you want to. Uh, you also have 1 million identity theft protection, and then you have follow up to five business credit reports, but this is not on the free side. This is starts at the business manager, which is $29.99 a month starting out. You can save some money if you go annual or quarterly, I believe they don't. So they don't do annual, that's a mistake. People think that they're doing annually, but they're actually doing quarterly. Um, also, so just to point out for the follow up to five business. So there's a misconception that if you add five other business into the software, so following five other businesses just means that you can see the business scores of five other businesses. That doesn't mean that what we're going to talk about now, what I was going to save it later, but you can also add a trade line to the business uh, credit bureaus with one of their accounts. And this is on the, the business uh, boost account, the uh, yes, the business boost account as a trade line to the business bureaus. So there's a misconception that if I follow those five businesses and I have the business boost plan, that it will also add a trade line 
to the other five businesses as well and that's a misconception it will not you can only follow the business those businesses and just see their scores there's not adding a trade line to those other five bureaus excuse me so what else do you get you get the follow up to five uh business uh credit reports quarterly building options and new lost wallet replacement okay you also have new business credit uh, trade line reporting like i mentioned under the business uh boost plan which is 39.99 so with what basically that means is you apply for this business boost plan and they will report a trade line to the business bureaus so that will help build your score it was in this reporting to all three uh business bureaus dun and brad experian and equifax and that will help build your score so that's one trade line that you can add to your business credit and also i heard that there is also a hack that you can do which is you sign up for nav with one account and select the business boost plan and then you sign up with, with nav on a different email and then you want to sign up for the next plan up which is the business loan builder which is 49.99 and if you do that that will add two separate trade lines to your business account so that will, will add uh, two separate trade lines to Equifax, Experian, and Dun & Bradstreet. So thus giving you more reporting on your business credit and helping you build your business credit scores. So the last option we have is the, fin is the FICO Small Business Scoring Service. And this is used to help get those SBA loans. And this is only on the business loan builder side. So if you're looking to get those SBA loans and get that SBA score up so you can get approved for those that type of funding, then you want to go with the business loan builder option. But again, if you want to do the NAV hack, you have to have a business boost account on one email and the business loan builder on another email, but also just reporting and putting the same business information in there. And that will add two, se two separate trade lines to your one business account. All right. So let's take a look at what it looks like inside of the account. So we have our business scores here. So this is what it looks like when you have a paid account. This is the business boost plan. And as you can see, we have a 80s uh, done in Brash Street score. We have an 86 experience score. And the Equifax, as you can see, is not so good. Red means bad, green means good. Equifax is a 368 and that score needs to be brought up. So this is what it will look like. You are able to download those reports. You are able to analyze it and you are able to see a full report and see how many active trade lines you have and exactly what is reporting to the business approvals. Okay. And then up here at the top, you can click on credit reports and then that's where you can find the other businesses if you decide to follow some other businesses and see those scores as well. So this is NAF, this is how it works. And again, the business boost plan helps you add a trade line to build your scores. It will, you can sign up for free if you want to, just to see a letter grade score, but to actually see those official scores and see exactly what your scores are and what's on your account, you need to upgrade to a pay plan. And then we also recommend that you just go straight to the business boost plan. Don't even do the business manager plan because it's pointless. Do the business boost plan if you're trying to build business credit and get that trade line reporting to those credit bureaus. All right, guys. So that is all I have for today. Just something quick for you guys. Uh, just to fill in that information. If you have any more questions, please reach out to me in the comments section. Please feel to, free to subscribe and like this video if you love this information. And follow our Facebook groups if you want to learn more about business credit. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.